video is the basics of stop motion. So stop motion, you move the doll in little increments. But every time you move the doll, you snap a picture. Do, do. And then those cut together will show movement. Now the most detailed and best videos have several elements and several things moving at the same time so that there is a better illusion of movement. Now, some of you might um, wonder why your stop motion is very jumpy and why it doesn't really work. And that the, the if you're doing it correctly, the most likely culprit is the Ben Kearns effect, which I loathe. I hate that they put it in almost every program. So you can't use the normal editing program. So the, the Ben Kearns effect, it moves your pictures to give the illusion of your picture having movement, but cannot be used with stop motion. And if you try to turn off the effect, then you still have to reposition every photo. And because they're not, photos aren't completely aligned with most iPad programs like iMovie, they're not completely aligned. It, it still is very hard to get any illusion of movement. So you do need a dedicated program for that. And I will show a clip of a dedicated program doing that, except I'm not very good at it. Sorry. Um, it, it's just um, the program that I have for it is not the best. The best way to do it is on computer and getting a computer program and having maybe not um, a point and shoot, but a camera that you can just take pictures and have it, the camera on a tripod positioned at the same place every time you take the shot so that it will look the best because you need your camera in the same spot. If your doll falls down, um, reposition the whole scene like a jump in scene and don't, it's sometimes too hard to put all the dolls back in the same position. So you could just, oh, this part is a close up and then uh, reposition the dolls and go to another scene. Th those are some of the problems that I've had with it. And I hope that this video is helpful for you and your doll videos.